Building Collapse at Curtin University. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because it's a sad one. Today we're having a look at a building collapse that has occurred at Curtin University over in WA and which a young man lost his life, sadly. This is the new built environment building, the School of Design and Built Environment at Curtin University, designed by John Waddell Architects and under construction by Len Lease. It's a five-story project. And what's happened is, what's happened is the, well, one of the features of the building, one of the features, the large canopy over the well, enclosed courtyard space has collapsed while workers were up there flashing it. My understanding is two guys fell for 20 meters down and one at a lower level is sadly dead. Two of them are now in hospital under critical condition. And, well, it's being investigated. It's being investigated. We don't have any, well, any solid information yet of what caused it. And that will come out with time. But, <clears throat> fortunately, it was lunch break, guys. There was no one under there. If someone was under there, it could have been much worse could have been much worse. So let's have a look at a, a few of the media statements and a few other things. So Curtin University has released a media statement about the incident on their Perth campus. So they wish to extend their sincere condolences, thoughts and supports to all those impacted by today's tragic incident on campus, which claimed the life of one construction worker and injured two others. The incident happened at 12.32 at Building 418, at the northern end of Curtin's Perth campus, where a new school of design and the built environment is being constructed. The site is operated by head contractor Lend Lease. It is understood the men were working on or near a glass roof structure when it gave way. Ambulance and emergency services attended the scene and those injured were taken to Royal Perth Hospital. WA Police and Work Safety Authorities are investigating. Curtin has cancelled events on campus this afternoon as a mark of respect to those so deeply affected by this tragedy. We request that people coming to campus avoid the northern end of campus. No Curtin staff or students were involved in the incident. Construction at the building 418 site began in 2019 and is due for completion next year. Now, when I originally heard of this, I thought it was an existing structure that was built and they were doing some maintenance work. And I thought, okay, maybe maybe there was some hidden damage that rust had gotten in there, but no, this is a new build. So it's, I mean, there's a whole range of things that could have gone wrong. There could have been just, just one element here and it could have just cascaded from there. Weight could have been put on somewhere where it wasn't, maybe something wasn't fixed in properly. So there'll have to be a thorough investigation before we know we have any idea what's happened and sadly one one guy's uh, paid the ultimate price for this so this is the project overview before we go through this let's have a look at len lease's media and if we jump here so this is the media release from len lease at approximately 12 30 p.m today awst a subcontractor worker was fatally injured on the Curtin university construction site Two other subcontractor sub workers were seriously injured and have been taken to hospital. Emergency services are attending the scene. Dale Connor, CEO of Building for Len Lee, said, We are deeply saddened by this tragic incident and our immediate priority is to support the workers' family, friends and colleagues. The site remains closed and support is being provided to the Curtin University team during this difficult time, Mr. Connor said. Safety is Len Lee's highest priority and the company is working closely with relevant authorities. I mean, it's Len Lease's site. It's their responsibility. They're in control. They're in charge. So, you know, there's going to there's gonna be an investigation. There's going to be a, a lot of, well, looking at what is going on here. So let's have an overview of this project. This is from Curtin. They published some time ago. So I'm getting some light issues with my camera. The new facility for the School of Design and Built Environment. And that, that's going to be sad that, well, the the School of Designers and, and, and people in the construction industry is constantly going to, 
Well, hopefully they'll put a, a memorial or something to the poor worker that lost his life for this building. Will be the first development within Curtin's new precinct, Exchange. The precinct represents the first concentrated stage of development to be delivered in response to the Greater Curtin Master Plan. The five-story facility will include dedicated learning and research spaces, a maker space and workspace for DBE staff, in addition to industry, retail and exhibition space. Sitting at the heart of the building is a stunning courtyard designed to celebrate the DBE community and foster connection. So as, I mean, you've got this, this facade here, you've got this facade here, this will be, there'll be an entire project team on this and they're under, they're under the, um, the builder even the architect and all the engineers. You'd probably have a facade engineer as well, and I'm not sure if they worked on this, on, on the canopy. You may have even another contractor to see DNC installing it, so we, we don't know who's responsible or who's involved. I mean, this is the thing. It could be just one little tragic mistake if something happened on site that could lead to this. Designed by John Woodell Architects, the facility will be an exemplar of sustainable design and civic placemaking designed to support interdisciplinary collaboration and showcase creativity and innovation. Most importantly, Building 418 will serve as a living laboratory that will enrich the student experience and enable research opportunities. Construction of Curtin's new facility for the School of Design and the built environment is anticipated to commence in quarter two, 2019, with the facility due for completion within two years. So the project features a mix of technology-rich formal, informal, and specialist learning and teaching spaces. Level 4 provides extensive open-plan workspace for DBE staff. Dynamic ground floor exhibition space, so it's pretty standard with what it has. Structural elements are mechanical, electrical, and hydraulic services are exposed in key learning areas to serve as unique teaching tools that will allow students to understand how buildings function. DBE's school, culture, and identity have been heavily shaped by its home in Building 201 more specifically by the ground level blue carpet, which has become well known as an ever changing space for practical learning displays, discussions and social gathering. The influence of the blue carpet can be seen throughout the new facility. They're targeting a six star design and as built sustainability rating. The benefits, the new facility for the School of Design and Built Environment represents exemplary standards in design, embedding pedagogy in the built form and showcasing Curtin's commitment to interdisciplinary collaboration and effective convergence of learning, teaching, research, and industry. Now here, pedagogy, if you're not familiar with it, it's it's a it's a term used to well the an approach to teaching, a theory of how, how to teach. I had a particular style when I taught. I I because I taught for many years, I considered myself a facilitator more than a teacher, and I thought the interactions between the students all together would allow them to to learn. And often that involved them putting their work up and presenting and discussing. It was quite quite enjoyable. If you had a, if you had a good group that interacted, some of them you had to pull, really pull to get up there because some of them were quite shy. But it, you know they all appreciated it in the end. So let's have a look at what JWA has uh, designed here. We can see. I mean they've they've started on the project in 2016, so they've been working on it in years. And I haven't found a media release from the architect or from any of the engineers, although I haven't. I wouldn't be surprised. As a as a professional, as a consultant, if, if something like this happens, your first advice from your insurance company, and they are the ones who will guide you, uh, would be to say nothing. Would be to say nothing, to interact, to put nothing out there, because you don't want to inadvertently expose yourself, or even if, if it all goes to court, which it might. And the problem is with these type of projects, if it goes to court, Everyone will get caught up in it if you are even involved in the project a little bit. And then if the insurance companies all agree to settle, you may have to pay even if you're, even if you're in the right. So it it's, can get very messy. It can be very stressful, and it, it's not a, a, a good thing for the professionals. But you can. That's kind of why they won't say anything. So here it is. Here's the structure right here. I mean, it's it's a beautiful space. It is a beautiful space. But that that'd be a big big fall there going down and this is this is just utter bs there's no way it'd be this clean and pristine as architecture students i mean it's so messy and you you've got model stuff everywhere so the media has has responded to this it's been picked up by the age seven news guardian every every newspaper has discussed it i thought we'd have a look at this article from the guardian so Curtin university roof collapse 
leaves construction worker dead at the Perth campus. One person has died and two others are in hospital after the workplace incident at the Bentley campus in southeast Perth. And you can see the damage there. A 23, 23, still just a kid, wet behind the ears. That, that's tragic. A 23-year-old worker has died after he fell 20 meters when a roof collapsed on a building construction at the Curtin University in Perth. Two other men in their 20s have been taken to Royal Perth Hospital with multiple injuries following workplace incidents at the Bentley campus, which occurred before 12.30 local time on Tuesday. West Australian P Police Commander Mike Bell said two construction workers were on the canopy carrying out work when it suddenly gave way without warning and both fell 20 metres to the ground. I mean, that's a substantial structure. It, it should be able to handle the load of just the people work, walking on there. Something's happened. Something's happened. The cause of that collapse is yet to be determined, Bell said. The 23-year-old man who died had been working on the roof, so he's on the roof. The other man who fell was taken to Royal Perth Hospital along with another, man, another worker who was inside the structure when the roof collapsed. One of the men has serious inju injuries. Police and emergency crews are working behind me to make sure the site is safe at which point we can remove the body from the deceased and we commence our investigation, Bell said. The commander said the family of the 23-year-old was devastated, as you can imagine. Bell said his body could not be removed until the scene was declared safe. We are yet to speak to the family of the injured man, so it is only the deceased family that has been advised at this point, he said. And my understanding is that they actually had to send in a uh, uh, police robot to retrieve the, the poor man. A St. John's Ambulance spokeswoman said two ambulance crews as well as fire and emergency services and police attended the scene. The construction union said tradespeople trades who had been working on the building had been told to head home, but many workers remained on the scene into the afternoon and gathered together as emergency crews assessed the damage. CFMEU State Secretary Mick Buchanan said he had, made, had been made aware after the incident that there had been issues with deflection in the structural steel. Those issues were addressed by structural engineers, but I understand there were some concerns, he said. Buchanan said the union had not previously been aware of issues at the site, but stated it's 2020. These events should not occur in the building and construction industry. Oh, well, so if there's some issues in the in the structure and the engineer tried to resolve it, this could get really messy. Where was this? Where'd the steel come from? Where'd the steel come from? Enough is enough, he told reporters at the scene. Something has got to give. Another young worker has lost his life here today. Curtin University said the incident occurred at Building 418, which is currently under construction. The site is under the management of head contractor Lend Lease, a university spokesperson said in a statement. We have been advised that no Curtin staff or students were involved in the incident. Our thoughts are with all impacted by this accident. The construction site is on the edge of the campus. It's part of a project called The Exchange, where the university says will be an innovative precinct, home to a new school of design and built environment, two student accommodation buildings, a hotel and residential apartments, in addition to industry and retail spaces and recreation areas, Dale Connor, the chief executive of Building for Lendley, said in a statement. We're deeply saddened by this tragic incident, and our immediate priority is to support the workers' family, friends, and colleagues. The site remains, remains closed, and support is being provided to the Curtin University team during this difficult time, he said. Safety is lend leases highest priority, and the company is working closely with the relevant authorities. The university campus is in Bentley, eight kilometers southeast of Perth Centre. A spokesman for the WA Department of Fire and Emergency Services said the building was being assessed and fire crews were on the scene. They had worked to release two people trapped in the debris, understood to be the workers in their 20s sub subsequently taken to hospital. You can see here. A text message sent by the university to students earlier stated, there's been an accident on the construction site of building 418. Emergency services personnel are on site. Please avoid the area and avoid University Boulevard. Investigators from WorkSafe WA are at the scene and are due to, to conduct their own investigation. So we will have to see what's happening guys we'll have to see it'll come out it'll take some time but it'll come out we may need to keep our eyes on the courts too 
to see what happens there. But sadly, one young man has lost his life. Gotta feel sorry for him. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support us, you know how. Take care. I'll see you next time.